Well, the next time you uh, go to the Glen Burnie Library, make sure you head to the counter and ask for Brian Oberly. Yeah, don't ask for a romance novel or how to speak Italian, that book. Just shake his hand and thank him for being too good to be true. This is one for the books. You can't spell librarian without Brian. And this librarian who started out card cataloging now knows Narcan. And as soon as I opened the door, we saw somebody out. A man was dying right here on the bathroom floor. I checked him. He was completely unresponsive to both verbal and physical um, attempts to rouse him. Brian was hoping the other day was just a piece of fiction, but it's a way of life now. His eyes were rolled back into his head. Uh, he was kind of snoring, all of which are symptoms of an opioid overdose. Usually he gets questions like, where's Laura Lippin's book? On this day it was, can you save a life? I just did what needed doing. Um, I had the training to back it up. We always see books on a cart ready to go back home to their shelf. But here, you follow the arrow, you see the Narcan basket and the rubber gloves. Having Narcan is no different than the AED that we carry. Uh, it is no different than the first aid kits that we carry. It's just another thing to have in the first aid kit. Right after the man came alive, Brian wrote down his thoughts as he wanted to remember all the details. The Narcan took, I'm going to say five minutes to work, but you know, when you're all adrenaline up like that, you kind of experience a little time dilation. Uh, your, your sense of time really changes. If he were to write a book, how would his first sentence read? Oh my. Um, the library follows the principle of be prepared. It was the best return this library has ever seen. A man who returned to life. I'm going to be making darn sure that I have a dose with me at all times. Really? Yes. 